Yeah, hi, I'd uh, just like to talk to you about the um, horrific attack in Sri Lanka a couple of days ago. Um, 300 people approximately killed in a uh, terrorist attack on innocent Christians, another 400 or so uh, injured. Uh, this is a shocking thing, um, but it's not unusual. We're having more and more of it all the time. We're finding that the attack on attacks on Christians and Christian churches is escalating. Three churches a day now in France uh, are being attacked. Um, we don't need these sort of attacks on our soil. But uh, if we continue importing these people, a certain percentage of which, uh, these Muslims, a certain percentage of which are terrorists, then we can expect exactly the same thing happening here. Now, this is the book that, uh, that authorised the killing of those people. It's the book that all of them read. Uh, they all follow the Koran. The Koran does call for the slaughter of uh, Christians, Jews, um, Hindus. Anyone who's not uh, a Muslim gets, uh, you're up for attack. So the major parties will continue to bring these people in as refugees and otherwise, uh, all uh, backed by the Greens, of course. Uh, they need the vote, but mainly they're uh, following the dictates of the UN. The UN is telling them who to bring in and how many to bring in. Um, I personally think that we've got to stop all Muslim immigration now uh, and start deporting any of them who are on terrorist watch lists or uh, maybe a threat to this country. Uh, a government's job, first and foremost, is to protect its citizens. If you keep on bringing these people in, uh, then, and we know that they are going to a certain percentage of attackers, that's not protecting our citizens. So uh, I'm calling for the stopping of all Muslim immigration from now on.